formation of ingredients. Now the next position. We will consider the next position. This is the principal axis. This is your F. This is C. Now let us consider the object in between F and C. So what will be the image? Where the image will be formed, you see? Parallel rays after reflection. reflection it moves in this direction okay yes sir. then there are several other methods of drawing the rays you may consider one this one to be the incident ray this is angle of incidence and if you consider the equal amount You see, so this is the incident ray, this is the reflected ray, both these rays meet at this particular point, so this will be the image point. So it is, the image is beyond C. C. Position of image is beyond C. C. What does it mean? You see, this is the point of incidence. Once again, we will write the things. Position of object between? Beyond this. No, but no, 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 no. position of object F. It is between C and F. F. Position of object between C and F. C and F. Image position beyond the C. Beyond C. Yes. And magnification? Enlarge. Yes. It is enlarged. And nature once again real and invertible. Okay. Now let us consider the next position. Next position will be the object will be placed at focus. When the object will be placed at focus, we have seen that the when the object is at infinity, its image is at the focus. Yes, sir. So when the object is at the focus, its image should be at the infinity. infinity. Okay? Yes, sir. Size of the object was big and the size of the image was very much diminished. Here, the size of the object will be very small and the size of the image will be very big. large. Okay? So it will be highly magnified. Yes, sir. Okay? We will consider the same thing here. We will see how this can be done. This is F, this is C, this is the object, very small object we are considering. Once again, the ray going this side parallel to the principal axis. After reflection, it passes through the focus and goes this side. Okay? Yes, sir. We will consider the another ray which is incident perpendicularly on the mirror and whenever any ray is incident perpendicular on the mirror it means the angle of incidence is zero so angle of reflection is also zero when angle of incidence is zero and angle of reflection is zero it means it passes it returns back in the same direction okay we all know that the radius is always perpendicular to the circumference at any point. So, we consider this. So, light ray going in this direction. This is what? Radius. And this is what? Circumference. So, this will be perpendicular. The moment it is perpendicular, what is the angle of incidence? Zero. What will the angle of reflection? Zero. Zero. So, it will come back in the same direction. So it is going in this direction, it is returning back in the same direction and it is going parallel to the another ray. Okay, so in this way you see both the rays are parallel to each other and we know that parallel rays meet at infinity, infinity and that's why the image will be formed at infinity. infinity. It will be 
highly magnified it will be far away from the center of curvature highly magnified okay yes, so now position of object x s okay very good you we'll write on f or at f and it will be image position on infinity ah uh, at infinity and magnification very much magnified or highly magnified highly magnified you write here highly magnified nature once again the real and inverted okay yes. now the next thing which is very very important for the concave mirror is the position of the object between focus and pole this you will have to consider and you see how it can be done you see this is the principal axis this is the concave mirror okay yes sir this is focal point this is c when the object is placed here okay yes. what we are going to do is once again we will take one ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection when we will go it will pass from the focus once again it will pass to the focus okay now let us consider another ray this side this will be angle of incidence this side same angle of reflection this side it will move along this direction when these two are extended they will meet at this particular point beyond the mirror and it is enlarged it cannot be obtained on the screen and so the nature has changed what we are going to do is you see whenever the ob object is placed in between f and p then the image is formed beyond the mirror behind the mirror image is formed behind the mirror it is enlarged it is erect yes sir it cannot be obtained on the screen and hence it is uh, virtual that's why the nature has already changed the direction has already changed that's why it is important and that's why it finds its use in different other positions different other places like if you want to just uh, use it in the case of a shaving mirror then the image of your this beard will be you know seen bigger and that's why it will be easier for you to see shape so position of object between f and p between f and p f and p p image position behind, behind the mirror magnification highly magnified not not, not magnified Only it is not highly magnified it is magnified and nature will change here nature will be virtual virtual and erect erect okay so this was the formation of image by concave mirror we will see now the formation of image by convex mirror okay
it has got focus this side, center of curvature this side. Okay? Yes, sir. If you consider the object here, this is the okay. incident ray. You see, we draw a dotted line this side, we extended this side. This will be the reflected ray. This is the extended line which tells us how to draw the ray diagram. And then this is center of curvature. Yes. You know, from this particular point and this particular point, you just put this scale and draw it. And you will see, I'll just explain it, what is there. The image is formed at this particular point. You see, this is the radius of curvature. Yes, sir. So, radius is always perpendicular to the surface. Surface. Okay? Yes, sir. So, in the same direction, this line is there. So, light is incident in this direction. It gets reflected in this direction. So, the image is formed at this particular point. Image is virtual and erect. erect. It is diminished. It is diminished. So, in all the positions of the convex mirror, the image remains the same, the nature remains the same. It is, that's why, finds its application in rear view mirror. To see the traffic behind us. Okay? Yes. Because all the traffic, the the angle of vision is wide, so it will cover more area and it will show the image in the diminished form and the 